baby don't check for me taking time out to be and live my life off hey guys it's Sharika and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe before you leave so I just left the gym obviously when I got home from the gym I did have a special package waiting for me at the door so let me show you guys I got my wine from Bright Cellars so thank you so much Bright Cellar for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Bright Cellar is a monthly wine club. So all you have to do is take a seven question quiz and they'll match wines from all over the world correlated to your palate. And what I love the most is that it's delivered straight to your door. The customer service is great. If you have any issues, they got you. You can also log into your account and rate your wines when you receive them. So each wine comes with its own information card and it basically just gives you a breakdown about the wine, the alcohol percentage, the profile of the wine, um, the serving temperature, and what the wine is best paired with. So I'm going to try a bottle of wine today. Um, let me see here. Let me look on the cards. And... All of these wines should be pretty sweet for me because I like sweet red wines and they get it right every time. So I'm going to try this one here. So you don't have to worry about your bottles breaking or anything like they have it packaged so nicely. So this is the one that I'll be trying right here. We're gonna try this one. I'm gonna smell it and play like I'm in a real wine tasting. Hmm. Let me see, what's the name of this? Let me get my card. Okay, this one would pair well with nachos, skirt steak, and winding down after work. All right, y'all already know. So, um, this one has raspberry, cherry strawberry and chocolate so let's see mm. y'all know what this one would be really good in a sangria make a cute little summertime sangria this is on point bomb Bright Cellar is giving my followers an exclusive 50% off their first six bottles plus a bonus bottle. That's seven bottles in total. Follow my link below and take the quiz to get started. So as you guys can see, I am completely out of wine, but I knew I had this wine on the way, so I haven't purchased any new wine. So I'm going to go ahead and just add this on my little stand. And no, y'all can't have a bottle. Y'all got to sign up and get your own. Perfect. So I just got home from Fresh Market. And this was the reason that I went to Fresh Market was to pick up some of the peanut ginger dressing. I told y'all about this before. It's so good. So I bought two bottles of that. And then I just found like some different little snacks that I wanted to try. So I've never had... Um, chocolate frozen bananas so these are just like some banana bites that's dipped in chocolate um, it's supposed to be like a little healthy snack so they're just a hundred calories for um, four pieces and then I wanted to try some of these mad minis they're like ice cream cookie sandwiches they're only 60 calories I bought some baby kale and then this is some gluten-free pasta. So they're made from chickpeas. So I want to try this to see if I would like it. And then these are some quinoa chips, sour cream and onion. And then these are some gluten-free cheese puffs. So y'all, I did go get my nails done. 
and this is a gel polish DNC color 88 this is the color that I always get um, I just took a break from it for a while but well not that long it's been maybe like maybe like a month but yeah this is my favorite nude it looks so nice love it So it is the next day. Quick update on the stuffed shrimp. It was delicious. I forgot to put across the screen the things that I used, but honestly, you could just use, you know, your favorite seasonings, taste it along the way, and then add the egg at the end once you got your flavors where they need to be. Like you would do a crab cake and then pop it in the oven. Of course, the crab meat is already cooked. It's not raw. So the only thing that you really need to let cook is the egg and the shrimp. So once the shrimp is done, everything else is done, but it turned out so good. I tried to make that cheese sauce that they have on it when I go to Harry's. I didn't really like the way that that turned out. I didn't have everything that I wanted to use, but it was still good. Um, 
so I will definitely be making that again I know a lot of you guys always asked me if I would make a cooking channel before me and my brother we did have a cooking channel which didn't last long because I'm the type of person I don't use measurements and for some strange reason people don't understand that like they're still like okay well you need to give us a breakdown of this that and the third and I that just aggravated me it's just not how I cook and then it was just it was just a lot so that's not something that I'm interested in and like I said I do enjoy cooking I cook a lot I don't always vlog everything that I do in my life but I do a lot of cooking I really enjoy them but something like that with crab seafood you know just use whatever season that you like whatever see you know your favorite seasons just use that but it's really really easy so delicious y'all I think I made what six so I had three and um Tony had three so good um today i was watching one of my girls on youtube and now i want to make a sandwich she had like this really good sandwich it had like had avocados tomatoes spinach um i'm not too sure what type of bread that was it did look like rye bread i haven't had rye in a long time so i want to make one of those sandwiches but i want to get some um, boar's head turkey sliced from um, Publix because I'm kind of over like the pre-packaged um, sandwich meat it's just a little too salty for me I don't know what's going on with my taste buds but I'm not into it so I like to just go to the deli and get it sliced so maybe like some smoked turkey and then do like a really good little healthy sandwich I haven't had anything to eat yet I just had a snack I bought this um buffalo hummus from trader droves it's so good and i had i have some like um celery stalks when i just want to snack because i snack when i'm bored and so to avoid picking up something that's not that healthy i just buy celery sticks and just it gives me that satisfaction of needing to crunch and chew something i had that with my buffalo hummus and it was bomb also, and I'm gonna stop talking y'all to death. Also, the chocolate bananas. Why y'all ain't tell me? Cause I know some of y'all don't had chocolate bananas before. Why y'all didn't tell me? Those things are so good. I let little Tony try it last night, and he couldn't stay out of there. So I guess that's a new thing for us. We're gonna be eating chocolate covered bananas because they're bomb. Let me show you how they're looking inside, and also I'll show you guys the buffalo hummus. Y'all, excuse this Hawaiian punch. Um, Tony Little Cousins was over here, and my husband bought this red juice. And I don't know why, because the first time somebody wastes some red juice on my carpet, we don't have problems. So I really haven't dug in too much, but I usually only crave sweet things like that time of the month. But I did want to just try these. I'm going to bite one so y'all can see how the inside looks. And I know somebody like a banana. Girl, don't be cute. <laughs> so this is what it looks like in the inside. And it's so good. So I might start just making my own. But so good. This is another little snack that I want to try. Y'all know I told y'all yesterday. Mm, excuse me. They were only 60 calories. And they're just like an Oreo. But these good, so I'm gonna just take a bite of this one. It's really soft. It's so good. If y'all looking for some guilt-free snacks, y'all try those. But let me show y'all the hummus, and then I'm going to the store because I want to make this sandwich. Because I'm I'm just trying like different little recipes and stuff like that because I'm kind of getting bored with my salmon and my salads and different stuff like that. So i've been like really looking up recipes and wanting to try like some of the stuff that i see on TikTok. most of the people that's like on weight loss journeys and lifestyle changes and stuff like that they fool look fool and y'all know i'm not lying if y'all have seen like when they do the breakfast and they had the eggs and like a piece of turkey bacon and just and it just don't look it don't look good to me so I'm trying to find a happy medium. The food look good, but it's not that fattening. I don't really like talking about my little 
weight loss journey because everybody's a dietitian, everybody's a nurse, everybody got opinions, and I asked for them, okay? So I don't really like talking about it too much, but just know your girl gonna get, get it together, okay? I'm gonna get a rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. It's like 10.49 a pound. This is what I'm gonna do. So I can try some cheese too. Okay, so I have all of the ingredients that I'm gonna use for my sandwich. So just get your choice of bread. I'm doing the rye bread because I haven't had it in a while. I got some, got some sliced rotisserie chicken breast. I'm gonna use Gouda cheese, pesto. She used the onion, but I'm not gonna use any onion. I'm gonna use some baby kale instead of spinach because this is what I have. And this is a tomato. I know it looks um, a little yellow, but I like mine, my tomato not too ripe. I don't like soft tomatoes. And then your choice of hummus. So y'all know I have the spicy hummus dip, so that's what I'll be using, so.